me. What are you all doing? If we want to go on every scary ride at the carnival today, we have to be there in 15 minutes. Oh, sorry, Ginger. We were waiting for Hank, and then we got distracted by this mystery cake. Yeah, we don't know why it's here, but you don't question cake. Wait, don't question cake. This all feels eerily familiar. Huh? What's eerily familiar? This is a birthday cake. It's Hank's birthday. Oh, a birthday. A year does are fun. It's not fun. Every year, he forces us to help him make his own episode of his favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And he gets all bossy and mean and not Hank-like? No! Oh, that's disgusting! Huh? I guess the carnival trip is off. There's no way out of this one. Huh? Oh, no. I think I hear him coming. Maybe there is a way out of doing this. Guys, Hank is sick. No, I'm okay. I just need fluids. <laughs> hey, that sounds bad. We better let you rest. Maybe you're right. <laughs> it might be contagious. Well, you definitely sound contagious. So we'll celebrate you on another day. <laughs> <laughs> Carnival time! Well, at least you're still here, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I'm still here, and I got questions. What is this Jeremy you've been hanging out with behind my back? Watch TV and sip this soup, but I'll get you a blankie. <laughs> Let's see the other germ stand up to that. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? I really didn't want to get sick, believe me. I'd rather have my usual birthday where I bring my favorite TV show to life. Instead, I have to sit here. <laughs> oh, man! And now there's soup on the remote. <laughs> you quit being a crap, I'll get it! Don't stop! You're making it worse! You're gonna fry the buttons! <laughs> Bongo and Well, ain't this a kick in the cartoon caboose? It's Hank <gasps> and Jeremy. <gasps> You're right, McGillicuddy. Jeremy's a no-good germ who makes everyone sick. Cuff him. I, I didn't infect him. Really? He's telling the truth, guys. This is my fault. I treated soap like a suggestion. Mm. I'm still watching you, Blue. And I'm hugging you, Hank. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing! My remote pulled you through the TV because of a combination of soup, static electricity, and birthday magic. Whoa, whoa. If it's your birthday, then where's the party? Uh, nowhere. It got moved to another day because I'm sick. Well, that is just not acceptable. I'm declaring a special police mission to throw you a birthday bash with all of your TV friends. <laughs> We're making good time. Next, we hit the bumper boats, then dry off on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Move your butts! I'm sorry, Ginger. I'm just distracted for some reason. Yeah, this should be fun, but something feels off. Thanks for being with me on my birthday. It wouldn't have been the same without you. That's a bit on the nose, but accurate. What we did to Hank was wrong. But he was gonna make us sick or make us make a bad movie. Oh, you guys, we have to make it up to him. But how? Step right up, step right up. Get something for your friends that couldn't be here today. That's it. Let's win Hank a prize, and fast. He's probably feeling miserable right now. Let's party! <laughs> You almost zapped in Captain Criminal, the baddest baddie in the Tuniverse. Oh, that would have been bad. Because this party is for good guys only. <laughs> That's right. Hey, birthday boy, no more trick shots. Yes, sir. Day. 
birthday. But now, it may be my best birthday ever. And none of this would have happened if I wasn't sick. To the germ that got me sick and brought me together with you. Oh, come on. I'm the one who made this all happen. Fine. I know what I'm not wanting. Well, well, what have we here? A nice little birthday party. It would be a shame if someone were to crash it. Someone like me. <laughs> Good point, McGillicuddy. Now let's show this pathetic punk that this party is for protagonists. Remote was our only way to get rid of them. We're doomed. No one's ever doomed when police are around, Hank. Think, where can we find another remote? I've got it. There's always extra remotes in the couch cushions. Clever, but those crazy criminal crashers have the couch covered. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, it's too dangerous. <laughs> hey, that monkey stole my snap. <laughs> Remotes! Now we just need a staticky blanket and a bowl of Jeremy soup. Wait, where is Jeremy? Sure, police adventures are fun, but you should see how they wreck friendships. Uh, zero stars. Jeremy, why are you hiding in here? We need your soup to save the party. Oh, is that so? Are you sure you don't need one of your TV friends or the germ that got you sick? Uh-oh, looks like we've got us a code 15. Jealous friend. Hey, buddy, are you okay? What do you care? Ah, leave me alone. Look, I'm sorry I got sick. It was selfish. I should have thought about how you would feel while I was coughing and wheezing on my birthday. Can you forgive me? So, you promise you'll never get sick ever, ever, ever again? I never will. Promise. Hey, come here. Give me that balloon back. No way! This is proof that your carnival is rigged, and soon everyone will know! <sighs> All right, kid, let's make a deal. You give back the balloon, and I'll let you have any prize you want. No way! This is about justice! Hold on, Ginger. Any prize? Let's mute these birthday baddies! <laughs> Oh, no! I'm out of juice! <laughs> Enough! Put down the remote! You think I'm bluffing? <laughs> Put him down! Or say sayonara to the simian! Hank. Remember that rule about no more trick shots? Well, some rules were meant to be broken. Happy birthday to me. Let him breathe. Wait, 
Look, he's opening his eyes. Wait, what happened? Jeremy, where's Bongo and McGillicuddy and the rest of my cartoon pals? You were dreaming. Jeremy says you were sleeping for hours. But we're glad you're up now. We got you something that will make this birthday special after all. Uh, thanks? Pretty nice, huh? With these guys around, it's like Bongo and McGillicuddy are gonna be in the garage with you. How crazy is that, huh? <laughs> Tracks are a musical tradition dating back centuries. Fox, Sonata in G minor, was a diss against his lute player, Ed. <laughs> well, tradition or not, Angela, you need to fight back. Ah, but are you really the fighting back type? Oh, can I show stop? This flower might change your mind. You're right, Hank. I should take the high road and let this one slide. Veronica Savage here with news on the growing feud between Angela and Becca Sparkles. The biggest music rivalry since Bach versus his lute player, Ed. I just heard that in her next concert, Becca will be selling these t-shirts. That's a drawing of Angela walking all over her fans and not giving a hoot. Since Angela has yet to respond, we can only assume that Becca has a point. Ah, forget the high road! Becca Sparkles, get ready to be dissed! Something that'll really put Becca in her place. Try not to get singed by this burn. Becca, there's no need to be mean. I recommend a yoga routine. Well, uh, it rhymes. That's a start when you do music, right? <laughs> this is hard. I'm not used to writing mean songs. Here, let me help you get in the right frame of mind. Uh, I'm Becca, and I think you're a snobby jerk with a jerky snob face. Oh, yeah? Well, take this, Becca! Judging other people is just not cool. Cause when you jump to conclusions, uh... you look like a fool! What do you think? I think we're gonna need some extra help. Good idea coming to me. I'm sort of a feud master. Fortunately, I got a lot of dirt on Becca. Check it! She's afraid of bugs, she once stole a balloon, and she tried to be an artist, but ooh, it did not go so well. Yes, Ginger! This is exactly what I need. Let me try something. I was minding my business when I heard her song and all the things about me that she got wrong. Wow. She started this, oh, I would yeah. let it go.
saved you a seat. Thought you might be a little tired from all of that standing up for yourself. Oh, thanks. I like this new strong me. And I guess so does everyone else, because I was just nominated for the best Take No Prisoner song of the year! Whoa! <laughs> I also got a platinum necklace to wear when I perform at the Singing Awards tonight. Angry Angela's a hit! Angela has struck back with this song Game On, Glitter Girl. It's a hit, and it hits hard! Yeah! You bet it does! Take that! Becca! Tragically, Becca quit music and went back to her old job at a frozen canned fruit stand. Wait, what? Hey, I heard you're a big music producer. <laughs> Pathetic. Good job, Angela. You ruined a young girl's life. I'm crowning you queen of music mean. Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> Got any bananas today? Ha <laughs> ha! Get lost or I'll write a diss track about you! Ugh, it's Little Miss Perfect. What are you doing? Looking for your tiara? No, I want to apologize. Whatever. I was only defending myself with my new hit song. Save the fake apology, princess. I'm not trying to make you freak out and quit music. The damage is done. Hey, your music and your fruit both stink. <laughs> okay, what if the damage isn't done? We can show people that even if we have our diss songs, we still get along in person. All we need is a picture of us hugging. I'm not doing that. Oh, come on. Stop It'll it. It'll be great. Oh, wait for Trust me. Trust me. This will fix everything. <laughs> hey. <gasps> yeah, I guess we both look pretty silly now, huh? It's not that. I'm laughing about how you won't be able to perform at the singies if you're stuck to me. This is so bad for you. Ugh. My friends will be able to separate us. Let's go, Glitter Girl! Oh, no! Angela's kidnapped Becca! Uh, did you? Is that what this is? No! We're just stuck together, and you guys have to help us! Well, it's simply a matter of knowing necklace knot architecture to see where... Uh-oh. My art skills might not be up for this challenge. If you stand in this sunbeam, maybe the heat can melt the necklace. I mean, it should only take a very, very long time. Ah! <laughs> I kind of knew that would work, but it sure was fun. those stupid diss tracks. You know, that's something I still don't get. Why did you diss Angela? Because she dissed me first. What? <gasps> it was after one of her concerts. Angela, can I get your autograph? <laughs> that wasn't me, you liar. I have the dirt stains to prove it. It's a real she said, she said situation. Ugh. Too bad there isn't some video archive of all your concerts to see what really happened. Hank, yes, there is. The fan site that you were looking at. Here it is. It's right here. The concert where a fan broke his leg crowd surf. Uh, uh, don't worry, fan. I'm gonna get you to a hospital. Uh, Angela, can I get your autograph? I have to save this fan. Hold up. You weren't ignoring your number one fan, me, because you thought you were better than your number one fan, me? No, I would never do that. Wow. I guess I was wrong. I was wrong, too. I feuded when I should have listened. Mm. I'm sorry. Should we hug for real this time? Bring it in, sister. To break apart, you had to come together. Hey, sounds like a song. Yeah, speaking of songs. In a few minutes, the music queen of mean will sing Game On, Glitter Girl. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. I love it. Are you going to do it, Angela? Are you going to give the audience what they want?
gossip about now? Sports teams? Politics people? Previously on Talking Tom and Friends. Angela! What is this thing? This thing is a bracelet that will zap you if you try to use tech. This is either a really big bathroom or it's the agency. I'm gonna find Angela. Ah! Hold on, I'm coming. Stop it, what are you doing? What happened to Angela? Nice show, but we've got to get out of here. Ben and Xenon are waiting in the agency. There isn't much time before our portal closes. Wait, what? Yeah, that is a lot, but don't worry about it. Point is, I don't know why you're here, but we're leaving. Well, I'll tell you why I'm here. It all started during the Zapper invasion. I got surrounded, but the Zappers weren't there to zap me. <gasps> they heard the new electronic song I wrote and really liked it. brought me back to their home and made me the biggest music star in the whole digital universe. And now they're forcing you to make music for them. Those monsters! Well, we're gonna stop them! Why would I want you to stop them? Huh? The Zappers didn't kidnap me. They brought me home. I am a Zapper. Huh? What? Dramatically fly me away, boys. Ah! Oh. <gasps> Zapper, Angela, you don't even look like one. I'm done talking about this. It is time for you to leave. Huh? huh. Yeah. Uh. Great show. Of course, all your shows are great. You're so great. I also think you're great. Why won't you go away? We're not going anywhere without you. You're our friend. Look. Ew, that girl doesn't even look like me. See, she's not wearing my digital diva glitter gloves. Zap assistant, I tire of these intruders. Remove them. Angela, oh, wait. Uh, oh. Ow. Ah. We're trapped in a secret lab, surrounded by enemies, our hopes clinging to a desperate mission to another world. This is so exciting, Xenon! The Dream Team is back in action! Agent X-427, open this door. Uh, in a minute! I just... Uh, I estimate we've got 40 minutes until we lose this room! Ah! Ah! More like seven minutes! <laughs> Are they behind us? Are we doomed? It's probably better not to look. Ah! Don't be afraid! Jump, Ginger! I can't! <laughs> 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 Not cubes. What happened? I think I bumped into one of them. Hank, you made it non-digital. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah! What other secret powers are you hiding? I don't think I have secret powers, but when Zappers invaded our world, they could change us to be like them. So maybe when we're in their world, we can do the same to them. Hmm. Let me try something. What? what? No way! I want to turn! Aw, look how happy he is. 
Too bad realizing we can warp the very nature of reality here won't help us save Angela. Actually, it might be exactly what we need. Let's get my girlfriend. They're almost in. Don't worry, Xenon. I'll protect you with this plasma bazooka. Yeah, Ben, that's just a fancy air blower. We use it to clean the floors. Then I'll blow them away. Ow! No, stupid anti-technology bracelet. I'm useless. Dead weight. Xenon, just open a portal and send me far away from here. Wait, Ben! A portal! That's it! This machine can open portals anywhere! So if I open one under the big statue in the park... That's it! Open more portals! Yeah! Dream Team, baby! <gasps> Tom. It's all on you now. Oh, so in my next song, I have this amazing part where I say, the old Angela can't come to the Digiphone right now because she doesn't exist. That's so cool, it's Digi-cool. Wrong. She's regular cool. What? You again? That's right. It's me, and it's again. I came back to save you. I don't want to be saved. I'm in a room with fans of me, all my favorite snacks, and pictures of myself on the walls. It's a dream. It is a dream, and we're here to wake you up. Ginger, Hank, let's do this. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! What? belong in the real world. You have to remember. I... Wait. I do remember something. You do? I remember... I remember the digi-cool dance fighting moves I learned from my concert! Smart to be tricked. Yeah, you're right, Zap Assistant. I am smart. It's a trick by these analog aliens to mess up my music. The headpiece is controlling her mind, making her mean. All right, Angela. We understand. No, Tom. Don't give up. I expect so much more from you. It's hopeless, Hank. Let's go home. But you're famous here. You're our only musician. We need your music. Download it off my website like a normal fan, because I am not a zapper. I am Angela, and I am real! Ah. Whoa! Ah. Ah. We did it! We... Whoa, wait, what? 
What did you do to this place? You're not the only ones who had an adventure. Now, I have to open one more portal. It will blow up the room, so go through it fast. <gasps> ah! This was a real rush, Xenon. The agency will want to know who broke the privacy destroyer. I need to go away. You can't do that. We're a team. I know we are, Ben. Trust me, we'll meet again. <laughs> Whoa! 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 It is good to be back. Oh, it's good to have you back, Angela. Hello again, Lamp. Oh, hello again, Couch. Hello again, Wall Kayak. I have to find her. I can't go! This isn't fair! Hello again, Grumpy Ben. Gee, Angela, I sure like this version of you a lot better than the mean one. Me too. I can't believe I got brainwashed. From this day on, I will never get close to anything evil ever again. What the heck's going on here? Huh? 